Guys, welcome back to another episode. If you never guessed it by the intro, yes, I'm back in Spain. And today we're gonna to be doing my favorite type of fishing. We back down on the rocks, ultralight with a bobber and worms. And take a look at the tide. The tide is absolutely super low. Take a look at this. It looks absolutely incredible. Look at all these little gullies and things like that. We're gonna be fishing in this all day. But what I'm really excited about is right back there behind me. Come take a look at this. Ooh. Take a look at this perfectly clear pool of water. Now I've fished here before and I've got a couple nice little fish. So I definitely want to try it out today. The water is crystal clear. It's like glass. You can see the bottom. In fact, I can see a little wrasse down there as we speak, feeding on a little something. So I know there's fish in here. We're going to get that bobber set up. We're going to get the worm on the hook and we're going to cast it in here just to start because it it looks too good to be true. Guys, stay tuned, this is gonna be a good one. All right, first things first, it is hot today. It was quite cold when I left the house, but it's actually, it's warmed up quite a lot. Now this is the setup we got, a nice bobber on the end of this tiny ultralight flexi rod. Look at that flex, we wanna test its flex today. And a nice tiny little hook on the end there, I don't know if you can see that, but we got some juicy worms. Let's hook one of those up right now. These are the worms. Take a look at these. Oh man, take a good look at that. See them there. Oh, they're falling out. This guy, he's already on his way out. Look at that. Take a look at that worm. Oh man, these things are horrible. We want to try and thread them on as best we can. That looks pretty good to me. Conveniently, a nice little pool to wash our hands there. You guys are going on my head. So we just want to sneak up to the edge there. Because the water is so clear, I really don't want to spook any fish. So let's see how close we can get. Let's get some drag out there. All right. So we're fishing at about a meter and a half. And I just want to cast it just over there. So let's... That looks pretty good. Let's bring it a little bit closer. The water is so clear, I can literally see the worm sinking down. Well guys, we got our first fish. But I don't know how much of that I was recording. But I have high hopes we can get another one. What a fail, what a fail. The first fish, and I don't even think I was recording. This pool is insane. Round two, here we go. We can even just drop it right there. Let's see, let's see. Keep your eyes on the bobber. There's a little one on it. All right, there we go. He's trying to take it. There we go. Oh, oh. It's going down, it's down, it's down. Oh, something definitely had it there. Looks like he got our worm. Oh man, there's a big one there. There is a big one. Oh man, it's big, it's big. It's big. There's a little one that took it. I don't want the little one, I don't want the little one. I want that big one. Man, it was massive. It was massive. Come on, please, just be the big one. Bob is going. Bob is going. Oh man, it is, it is the big one, it is the big one, it is the big one, oh man, oh no, it popped off, oh sh, oh man, that thing was massive, that thing was massive, let's get the worm back down there, the tide is coming in, we gotta watch that, the one thing that we do know is that there is a big wrasse just down there, the tide is coming in, makes me a little bit worried, No, buddy, I don't want you. No, 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 you're too small, you're too small. Leave it, leave it, leave it, buddy, leave it, leave it. Where is that big one? It's, he's down there. Oh, oh, jeepers. Oh, 
Oh, down, down. Oh, yes. Oh, man. All right. All right, come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, wow, he's a beautiful one. He is a beautiful one. All right, come on, buddy. Come on, up you go. Up you go. All right, he's not the giant. He's definitely not the giant that we were looking for. But he has some crazy colors on him. Take a look at that. Wow, you got that one real good. Let's get you off the hook. All right, he's off. He's off. Take a look at those colors. Absolutely beautiful. All this blue. I've never seen that. All that light blue on the bottom of his fin there. Also this fin over here full of blue. Absolutely beautiful. All right, buddy. Oh, 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 oh. All right, let's see. All right, be free. And down he swam. So there's some nice sized little wrasse in here, but it is not the monster that I saw earlier. That thing was at least 25 centimeters long. And he took it, he took it, but he just never had the hook. And he ran underneath that rock. And then we lost him from there, but it's good hopes. It means he's down there, he's still down there. We might have a shot. There's a, a little ridge over there underneath this big rock. And I think he swam underneath there. We're gonna keep trying, we're gonna see if we can get him. All right, so we're gonna try out there. It's a little bit deeper. Let's see. It's gotta be something hanging around there. Guys, just look at this spot to fish. Is it not the most beautiful place that you've ever fished? Look at all these beautiful gullies. And they are just full of these awesome colorful little fish and that's what i want to get we got our bobber right there it's just in that foamy section hopefully it's going to go down soon more seaweed more seaweed you know you just always have to be super careful Especially with an incoming tide, just want to keep your eye on that swell all the time. Guys, we're going back to that pool. I'm getting too much seaweed here. Oh, oh, oh! Something took it there. Something came out and took it. Sometimes if you just jiggle it like this, they're so aggressive that they just come out and they smash it. Oh, just like that, just like that, just like that, just like that. Oh, yes. Take a look at him, take a look at him. He's beautiful. Let's get you out. Oh, man. Wow, look at his colors. Look at his colors. He is beautiful. All right, buddy, don't you worry. We're gonna let you go, don't worry. It's barely even hooked. Just by the tip. Just by the tip of his mouth. So guys, look at these colors. Bright blue on the bottom of his fins. Beautiful patterns on the side of his face. This one has no blue in the tail. I don't know why, if anybody knows the difference, why some of them have blue on their tail, some of them don't. This guy's definitely been munched by something you can see over there on his on his fin. All right, buddy, let's get you back in the water. Let's get you back in the water. Don't worry. Come on, buddy, come away. All right, well, he kind of floated there for a little bit, but. I don't know if you could see, he did kind of swim off right at the end and went down below that rock. I could see him there chilling just below the rock for quite a while, so I held the GoPro there. I think he was just catching his breath, getting himself ready, but he swam off perfectly. Another beautiful little corkwing wrasse. Now, I don't know if, because that one was quite different from the last one that I caught, if, if there's a difference between these wrasses or not. Uh, I know there are hundreds of, of species of wrasse, so maybe, there, maybe there's slight differences that I'm not too sure about, but... Uh, that's so sick, man. That's so awesome. Let's see if we can get another one. Take a look at this worm. They're super long and they have all these little legs on them. And massive pincers in the front, but I kind of just pop off that head. 
before so I don't have to deal with it. Oh my bubba, my bubba. Bubba's getting hit, bubba's getting hit. The bubba is down. The bubba is down. Oh it's back up, it's back up. I don't know, have we lost him? Have we lost him? We might have lost him there. Damn it! Fishing has gone a little bit slow and I'm getting a little bit hungry so let's sort something out to eat. I've got a nice little treat. But I mean the water here, take a look at this little rock pool here. Just this tiny rock pool, there's these sea urchins, right? Spiky sea urchins. There's these massive turban shells. There's periwinkles. There's even small little fish swimming around here. Look at all these periwinkles. There's mussels, mussels, coral. Look at all these sea urchins, like 10 of them. And over here next to my bag, these over there, these are called perthebes. And those are actually like a bit of a Spanish delicacy. They serve them in the restaurant, super expensive. Basically just tastes like salt, like super salty salt water, that's it. But guys, this is making me really hungry, so let's get something to eat. All right, well, we found the perfect spot for lunch. Today for lunch, you know what it is, guys. Ooh, we got a nice little beer in there. We got some bread. We got some chips. That is it, that's what we're doing. Got some mayo. Just use a spoon for that. Hellman's mayo, it's the good stuff. And then we got some ruffles. And you know how it is, the more chips you can fit on there, the better. You really gotta pile it up. Oh yes, it's on the verge. All right, the delicate part. Okay, take a look at that. And now I'll give it the crunch. Ah, first bite. Mm. That mayo definitely makes a difference. It's not so dry. It gives it a nice little creamy edge to it. Mm. See the tides coming in slowly into this bay and then it washes through into this pool. I've caught some fun fishing here before. Today was really awesome and I was so happy to see that massive wrasse because that means there's potential. And that thing was big, like 20, 25 centimeters. And I hooked onto it, but it just, it came off. I don't know how it came off. This is it, man, this is what you do. You know, you get into a routine so often in life and you just do the same thing over and over again because it's comfortable. Get outside, do something different, challenge yourself. And I promise you, it's, it's going to make your day so much better. Even if it's something that you don't even like, but it's something different. Just get out of routine, get outside, go and smell a tree. Now I'm going to finish off this sandwich and then I'm going to head back. Fishing was fun today. This is what I love, being on the rocks, doing my thing. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you guys next time on the next fishing mission. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Crack up on a cold one. Mm. Oh, that's super tasty.